I think that a lot of my work stems from that sort of maybe almost childish desire to be understood. And I think that, that a lot of the ways that we invent to talk to each other have to do with that extreme desire to reach almost like a hundred percent of empathy with other people. Well, that will never happen. That, that, but the fact that we try, I think it's beautiful somehow. I'm very interested in communication, but that's not how I would have defined it when I first started making these works that ultimately are about communication. But it's basically this idea of what the parallel could be between sending a message, let's say, or making an artwork, and how unclear that message is, is the fact that we cannot necessarily call it communication. So miscommunication is a more useful parallel or metaphor for art making because there will always be this slight misunderstanding. An example is this switchboard pavilion that I'm presenting here for the first time at the MCA. The idea, you know, of these sort of walls that connect these cans with strings in random ways so that they seem to invite communication but they also complicate it by making it not very clear which can the other person might be listening or talking into. So there's this idea about artists who work with ideas that you have the idea and you make it into an object. But there's a reason why you make it into an object. You are trying to find something out while you make this idea into an object. You know, I'm interested in the role that understanding plays when looking at an art object and how very often people just look at something and go like, I don't understand it but how a lot of people that might feel more comfortable looking at art understand that they don't need to understand it. So the concept of miscommunication is a more apt metaphor for art making than communication itself. I don't try to be obscure in my work, even though sometimes that just happens, but um, that is very important to me. Like I make a work and I think, what would my mom think of it? You know.